Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisperer for July 15th, 2020. We are going to start with the spy, who is uh, reaching for the sky, actually. Yeah, bullish above 322. It's been a while since we've been at this level, right? Yeah, bullish above 322. We already hit um, one target already. And we do have a Camarilla resistance at 323.19. So uh, watch that level next. Um, we're going to be bearish below 319.50. That's a retracement trade. Let's go on to the E minis. Bullish above 32.20. We've uh, already just gone above that. And we hit pretty much two targets so far, but we have a lot more to go. So don't worry if you missed out. You didn't miss out on the whole trade. Bear below 3,200 for a retracement. The Russell, holy cow, finally broke out of this wedge. Yep, took a while too, right? Oop, my trend lines kind of shift overnight. But yeah, finally broke out of this wedge. We are hitting um, the 200 simple moving average. Yeah, that is going to be resistance, but my bull above was 144.50 earlier. 146 is the next major level to watch. All right, if we can break above here, the 250 simple moving average is always the next to get hit. So watch that next trade. All right, 146 to about 147. Uh, bear below 142.75. Let's go to the QQQs. Bullish above 262. And bear below 260. Yeah, the Qs. Look at the Qs. You know, not as excited as the Russell this morning, huh? Nope. Somebody didn't have their coffee today. Uh, so, yep. Watch it. Yeah, watch. The, the uh, Nasdaq stocks have been holding it up. The bank stocks are starting to take over right now. Goldman Sachs, I'll go over that, had a, a great year of earnings. Could you imagine? I don't think Goldman Sachs ever loses money. And that's why we follow the big guy. We follow Goldman's trades. That is our secret. They are moving the market. Yep, when they buy, it goes up. When they sell, it goes down. So of course they're gonna make money. Uh, so bullish above 262, bear below 260 for the NASDAQ. Let's look at those NASDAQ futures. Yeah, not, not looking that great either. Uh, but we'll see if they push it up Bullish above 10.750, bear below 10.650. Oil is uh, oil's hot this morning. That's right. Let's look at these oil futures. Up big time, but look at that. We keep hitting this R1 level. That's why I'm bullish above 41 today. We could really need to break above that. Uh, bear below 40, below the pivot. Now, if we got a big spike of volume and we went below it, then I would be bearish below those levels, 40.75 or 40.50, right? Those are key. Um, but yep, watch that 41. Looks like it's really trying to push through. Let's head on over to gold. Yeah, gold was up. Now it kind of came down to this pivot and holding on. You can see a lot of volume just came in. Uh, I didn't have that when I was mapping it out. We were back here, and I the only big volume spike I had was this one. So you can see that evidently it looks like they're trying to buy right on this pivot. So I would actually be bullish above this 1810 right now. Yep. Um, but in the whisper, it's 1820. But if you're a gold trader, watch that 1810 level. Only because this new bar of volume came in, right? Volume is key. Bear below 1805. We do go below the pivot. Look out below. We'll probably go down to 1800 pretty fast. Okay, let's go to Delta. Delta had earnings and they like it. Yep, bullish above 28 this morning. Let's get this chart up here. Yep, I see a nice pocket right here. Bear below 2687 for Delta. Let's go to UAL. So all the airlines have lots of volume. 
UAL, I see a nice pocket from uh, 34.50. We just went above it all the way up to the 20 simple moving average. I'm sorry, 30 simple moving average, the green one. 36.21. Right, I'll just zoom in for you. You can see that. Yeah, I look for the pockets on the daily chart. That is my secret to day trading. Now you know it. Uh, bear below 33.25. Apple. Yeah, so let's see what Apple does. If Apple hit, okay, pretty much, uh, yep, came 20 cents shy. That happens a lot. It's either an eighth or a fifth shy of a major level and pulls back. So if your target was 400, you are pretty pissed off when this thing went 20 cents shy and pulled all the way back to 375, right? That's why we always get out before a big number. But after it retraces, it usually comes and rallies back to that large number. So there's always a great trade after a pullback. Um, but Apple bullish above 398 today and bear below 393. That's a pretty big up thrust. And so, yeah, we would really have to close above 400 for a big swing to the upside key level there. All right, GE on fire. Yeah, aren't you guys glad we took those seven calls yesterday in the Java pit? Yep, right at the end of the day. Um, it was closing strong above the 875, I'm sorry, 675, 40 million dark pool level. So those, those were a score, those were seven cents. We'll see how they open up today, but I love it. I love following the dark pool, buying the options off guard. Timing is everything, Noaz. Yeah, now Noaz bought them. Patty, who else bought these with me? Timing is everything. Spe yep, especially out of the money options and the fact that it closed strong. If you bought them the day before, they yeah, wouldn't have been great. So again, waiting for the close above the prints and on the way up. So that's where... Uh, that's where uh, we definitely have our sweet spot. Okay, so today though, bullish above 712. Don't worry, the move is not over. Don't go, oh my gosh, I missed it. Are you kidding me? 40 million. Let's go, guys. Yep, wake up. Let's just roll it all the way up the hill. Okay, yeah, the, the object is adding on. I know a, we, a lot of us strangle, but you got to add on to the right side and keep going. That's how we make our money. Let's go to Tesla. Tesla bullish above 1605, bear below 1500, okay, for Tesla. 1600 is really big. Look at this major up thrust candle. Wow. High volume. The next one's a test of it on lower volume. Yep. So let's, yeah, if it makes a lower low than this candle, yeah, that would definitely look like a top. But if we can climb above 1600, that would be really key. So really important to watch those levels for Tesla. All right, let's go to Goldman Sachs. Yeah, went above my 220 level pretty quickly this morning. Um, but I do have a high end target of $230, you guys. Yeah, 230. 62 area. Yeah, if you look at the weekly chart, yeah, you can see something really cool. We are eclipsing this 200 simple moving average. Yep, we tested it back in uh, the end of May, beginning of June, pull back, and now less sellers there, right? So a lot of room to go on the weekly chart. Okay. Let's go to JP Morgan. Bear below 215 though for retracement. I always have to have my levels. The market could turn at any time. Bullish above JP Morgan, 150. Spotted a, uh, a seller there um, at 101 and 102, by the way. We'll see yep, how that goes. But the coast is clear uh, to the 120 simple moving average. Yeah, I love that. There's a lot of space there. And it already had earnings. The only thing that could give it a problem is this weekly chart, this 50 simple moving average, okay? And that's right about 101. So if it can clear that, look out. Yeah, look out above. Looks good. Let me just remove that. 
All right, we have room till we hit this 200 at 104. 89. Yeah, that's R3 today, by the way. So, yep. Let's go to MGM. Finally, I think we're getting some movement, guys. We had those massive prints. It's time to get aggressive. Uh, bullish above 1750 today. And if we do go below 1675, the prints, I got to turn bearish again. That's how it works. Yep. You got to follow the prints and be on the right side. It does splash sometimes, but you get, it's okay. You can get splashed once or twice. Just stay in it. Go for the big run. Boeing. Bullish above 187.50. I really love this chart. We're breaking out of this uh, wedge. But we have to really clear this. Uh, 30 simple moving average, but there's a really great trade set up again to the 120 simple moving average there. So like that, I've got a couple more for you. We got Wells Fargo. So Wells Fargo, we watched the price action on this yesterday like a hawk, and we saw them buying at 24. They definitely shook it a little bit, but we got that big print at the end of the day, 2402, 1.4 million. We had a feeling we were gonna see a big print there, right guys? Yep, we, that's the best part. We actually see them doing their trade in the dark pool before it's printed, but we watch the ECN books. We see the refreshing and they're really sneaky about it. And then when they're done, they report it. So. The fact that we're above that big print is bullish, but we're kind of stuck in between the four and the eight here. So bullish above 25, 20, giving it a little bit more room to the upside there. And then if we um, go below 24, uh, I'm sorry, 2380, below the print. All right, if this is the splash and we go below it, we gotta turn very bearish on it. So watch those levels. Bank of America has earnings tomorrow. So please be careful, this is a day trade. Bullish above 24.75. All right, 25, there is a seller there. So if you miss that first trade setup, wait for the second test of 25. There you have it. Those are your whispers for July 15th. Until next time, happy trading. My secret